It'll go in the books as a 76-55 blue and gold winner. Manley dribbles it out, and this ball game is over. And another sweep is in the books against the Mac West. 30 in a row, dating back to 2008. The final score of this one, Kent State 76, Ball State 55. I get, you know, it's 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 unbelievable. I, I didn't want to talk about it until we were done playing the West because like a baseball pitcher throwing a no-hitter, you don't want to talk about it. So um, that's why I didn't want to talk about it at all. But it's a great accomplishment for our players. Uh, I don't think Justin Green, he hasn't lost a game to the Mac West, huh? Yeah, that's a, yeah, yeah, that's that's a great accomplishment for him, something he can, you know, take with him forever. Uh, it's a great job. Now, we may still play one of these teams in the MAC tournament. Uh, and, and a lot of these games have been very close and come down to the wire. And our kids have found a way to, you know, have found a way to win. So uh, it's obviously a great accomplishment. But, you know, for, for our seniors, there's still a, a better than, or I, I mean, I guess it's a 50 50 chance that, uh, that we're going to face somebody again from the West. And, uh, you know, we'll have to play well, obviously. 22 to 16, Kent State has the lead, Evans from Perini. And the foul. But circles back up with 9.40 on the clock. Into green to the paint, good bounce pass to Mans, wham! And Taylor takes time off the Justin Mans two-hand slam. At the head of the key, 12.15 on the clock, he's at the elbow. Outside left wing to Guyton, who retreats into the paint now. Left hand layup is good off the glass. Uh, you know what? I think after that Akron loss at Akron, uh, you know, we sat down, the seniors, myself and Randall, sort of the the core uh, guys, and, uh, you know, they decided, not not me, it wasn't me at all, it was all them. You know, we, we just talked about how the time is running out, and, you know, you got to play the right way every game to uh, to win. And from that point on, I think our first practice after that was probably our best practice of the year. And from that point on, our kids have just uh, really focused on winning each game. And we haven't talked about uh, anything big picture except to say that everything's still in front of them. And by doing that, we've been able to keep rattling off wins and now we're in the home stretch, and we got to find a way against Buffalo, you know, on Tuesday to find a way to just get a win. High on the right comes with a bounce pass to Evans, who raises and hits. Evans with eight. Billy Taylor again wants to talk it over as his team falls behind by 11. One point lead. Guyton holds the ball, comes to the right block, spinning his green. This time he banks it in. Back underneath, Banker in and out, got his own rebound, and the putback is good. That started my freshman year. You know, Gino used to used to mess with me a lot, try to move in me, tell me, you oh, know, Jared Jones has the freshman of the year in his hands, and it's all his, and, you know, he's the best in our class, and, uh, and I, you know, he used to motivate me. So I always take it personal playing against him. I know he's one of the best players in the league, and, and you know, uh, one of the best bigs in the league as well. So, you know, I got to try to match his intensity and try to outplay him, especially at home, you know, and then, and then on national television, I don't want to get exposed. So. He'll come to Green this time. He'll drive against Jones. Let's it fly. Not there. Recycle try. Mans. No. Green, yes, on the third attempt. Shot clock down to 15. Guyton fires one into Jackson. Back to the paint and back to scoring go the flashes. Yeah, it feel, feels feel, feel real good. Regular season, though, you know, never know. We might see him in a, in a MAC tournament, but I don't plan on losing to him then either. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a good accomplishment, you know, but, you know, that's not what we – we want to do it. That's what we care about. You know, we just had to take care of that. That was huge in the middle of our season. So we got a tough, tough stretch with the Mac East coming back. We got Buffalo on Tuesday. That's going to be a real tough challenge. So, uh, you know, coach is going to get us ready tomorrow. I think we're going to start preparing for him tomorrow and uh, get ready for them. And Kent State with a very good defensive look that time. Here's Evans to Mans. Evans usually on the other end of it, this time reciprocates and a standing ovation here at the Mac Center as Kent State's lead swells to 18.